Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley certified most accurate forecast. Well, a beautiful day here today to get outside, maybe uh, grill some food up. Temperatures were a little bit warmer than recent days as we got into the mid 50s here outside right now. It's pretty quiet all throughout the Miami Valley. Pretty light winds as well. We do have uh, pretty clear skies here going through the rest of the nighttime. We're going to be mostly clear like we are currently. Can't tell there on the Just Schmidt Auto Group camera, but you can tell it's pretty quiet here throughout parts of the Miami Valley. Today our high 56 degrees, a little bit cooler than the normal of 61 and 32 for the overnight low. We'll get close to that here as we go overnight, but uh, we could see areas in the mid 30s for overnight lows. Highs on your Sunday, a little bit warmer, closer to the normal 60 degrees in Dayton, 59 Sydney, 59 Bell Fountain, 65 potentially there into Oxford. Live Doppler 2 HD, I know you see a lot of green here. That's not rain that's being picked on up by live Doppler 2 HD. Zooming on out, you can see that it is uh, gone as you look at satellite radar. And off to the west is our next system. That's going to bring us to chances of rain here as we go into your Sunday. Luckily, it's going to be Sunday night. So if you have any plans tomorrow during the daytime, you should be a okay with those uh, temperatures getting up to 60 degrees. It will be beautiful to be outside. Future track here through the rest of the night. Nothing on radar, nothing on satellite. It's going to be a clear night here as we go into Sunday morning. We'll start to see some clouds increase, but we'll have lots of sun early in the day, clouds in the afternoon, and then we'll start to see those shower chances arrive as we go later into the nighttime. Right around 11 o'clock to midnight is when we start to see this move on in, and then we'll see it move out pretty quickly as well. Maybe a leftover shower or two heading into eclipse day. This is where things get a little bit uh, hairy as we go into the afternoon because in the morning hours we'll have substantial cloud cover. We'll have pretty overcast skies, but going through the afternoon, we do expect to see clouds start to uh, dissipate and move off to the east. Now, we'll move out just in time for totality right around 3 o'clock. That is a question that we have to be have to uh, have answered here because right now it looks like we'll have some cloud cover there that could obstruct some view. But if we could get this system out of here just, uh, you know, three, four miles per hour quicker, that will do a lot of uh, a lot of clearing for us and we could see that total solar eclipse here as we go into Monday. Precip chances through the next four days. Sunday, the late portion of the day, that's where we have the 20 percent. Other than that, we will uh, see that rain all through the nighttime. Heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, that's where our chances really ramp up here. And then going into Thursday, we do have shower chances as well. So not dry through the next seven days. We'll have good chances of rain here as we head into the midweek. 32 is your low tonight here in Dayton. We'll see frost, mostly clear skies. And then 60 degrees for the high tomorrow. Sun in the morning. We'll have clouds in the afternoon. And then late rain is possible. Seven day forecast 72 as we head into eclipse day. So it's going to be beautiful outside to uh, just enjoy the weather. If you don't see that total solar eclipse, at least it'll be nice outside. We'll have those rain chances as we head through the middle of the middle of the week. Temperatures right around 70 and 60 degrees here.